Hello friends, happy Monday. So I am at home. I have scheduled in today as a writing slash working from home day um, because I have a seminar tomorrow, which I think I mentioned in the last vlog. Uh, we have some visiting professors from Chile who are coming to our lab because we have a few projects in our lab which are associated with Chile and there's a collaboration basically going on. So they're visiting and we are all presenting our work to tell them what we're up to. Apologies about my face, by the way. I have literally been up for about an hour and have just washed my face and <laughs> yeah not feeling my freshest but anyway i need to get that presentation done i also have a meeting with my supervisor on wednesday where i'm going to show him all of my results from the france trip and discuss my next plans and my next steps hopefully for thesis writing also yeah and i also have some nmr data that i collected from the lab yesterday after i went to the gym and I need to analyze that data. So we'll be here all day, we'll be chilling, we'll be working from the computer, and yeah, it should be a good day. This is my very simple and very boring working from home setup. Um, I actually took this monitor from my office at the decommissioning center at the beginning of COVID uh, because we had to work from home. So that has proven to be very useful. I just got this dock, but my laptop was too low down, so I put my old... Uh, undergraduate textbooks here <laughs> to just raise it up a bit so yeah it's very simple i'm not gonna lie my desk chair is so uncomfortable so we'll see how long i last i might end up getting dressed like properly dressed because i'm currently in like chilling at home clothes look at these <laughs> this is the vibes for today um yeah if it gets too uncomfortable i might go out to my office at the decommissioning center because i have a nice big desk and it's very very comfortable anyway let's crack on i'm gonna make a to-do list and then get started. Hello friends, excuse me because I'm a little bit red, I've just been to the gym but I thought I would come past the lab because I got a very exciting uh, parcel the other day for my toxicity testing. So the brine shrimp arrived. I am using this mix which I don't know if it's good or not, we are going to see but I have now mixed the eggs of the artemia, so the brine shrimp, in water like the instructions say. It's already got food, it's already got salt, everything in the like egg mixture and I need to keep them under light and wait for 24 to 48 hours and we'll see if they've hatched so I will keep you updated <laughs> and show you the progress of their hatching but I'll I'll show you them now so this is a combination of the eggs and the food and everything in water in this beaker yeah we will see what happens in 24 hours and 48 hours if they hatch or if we need to change the conditions to to help them to hatch Hello friends, so I haven't really checked in today because we've had a seminar all day so we had some visitors, some collaborators from Chile and yeah, we have been doing a seminar today where we've all, all been presenting our research uh, Juan from the university in Chile has also been presenting for us today so yeah, it's been a very nice day of sharing our work and networking and we also had some pizza and now I'm gonna go home so I will see you guys in the lab tomorrow Hello friends, happy what day is it? Wednesday. I'm coming to check my oh my little shrimp to see if any of them have hatched. So you probably saw two days ago I added the shrimp eggs to the water to try and hatch them for the toxicity testing. So let's have a look now and see if any of them have actually hatched. So they need light so I kept this fume hood light on all night. I don't know if it'll be strong enough but let's see if we have any hatched. Ah uh, no doesn't look very promising. Let me have a closer look on my own. You can see all the eggs are at the bottom. Oh, let me have a look. So I couldn't find any eggs that hatched, so I put this lamp in the hopes that there would be better light to make them grow. Good morning, guys. So update on the brine shrimp. Sorry, there's so much noise in here because all of the chillers are on for the rotavaps, but they haven't grown. So I even had a funky setup with like a desk light. I don't know if you can see it. Uh, yeah but I think the main problem is that they actually need heat and our lab has been quite cold because it's not very warm here in Scotland at the moment so I'm gonna try something else next week I'm gonna put them in the incubator see if that helps them to hatch these are supposed to be easy they're supposed to be really easy to hatch also there's a fly 
inside. I don't know if you can see that. It's obviously attracted because of the desk light. So yeah, the eggs have not hatched, so back to square one to try and figure that out. For now, I need to autoclave some stuff to do the bioassay next week. I also need to autoclave things for reviving bacteria. I am not here tomorrow. I'm going to London for the weekend to see a concert with my friends. Uh, so I have to finish things up today. But I will take you along with me. Yeah, we'll see how we get on. Hello, again, apologies about the noise, but I did prepare the sample that I isolated last week um, for NMR to run over the weekend to get some 2D spectra, but it didn't really work out. So basically with NMR, you need to have the correct volume. Oh no, it's not dried. Okay, this is a bit of a disaster because I need this tube to be dry before I can add my sample. Okay, anyway, what was I saying? Yes, the NMR was rubbish because the volume had actually decreased because I was running it over the weekend. So it meant that it just didn't acquire the data properly because there wasn't enough volume. So I need to run some of those experiments again. So that's what I'm gonna do now. I'm gonna prepare the NMR sample, give it to our NMR technician, and he's gonna run it on the even better NMR, the 600 megahertz NMR. So I will only be doing one experiment because it's kind of broken still at the moment. Uh, but it should help me to identify if I have one compound or if I have two compounds in my sample. And that's what I'm interested in at the moment. My plan is to fill these boxes with tips, cover all of these in aluminium foil and put the autoclave tape, um, put everything in the autoclave so it's all ready for next week when I need to run the bioassay. That's my plan. I'm not going to take a time lapse because I'm literally just going to be putting tips into these boxes so it's gonna be very very boring i'm gonna put on some music try to relax and enjoy the moment <laughs> for the rest of the day i actually went to the library up to the seventh floor where i was analyzing some of my data and i was trying to write some of my thesis because i mentioned before that i'm trying to write and i'm trying to do lab work at the same time so it's all a little bit hectic at the moment thank you so much again for watching and i'll see you in my next video bye